we are changing the environment. Many people are moving to Florida. They're living in regions that are close to nature. And many of our homes are close to that urban wildlife interface. As our environment changes, the parasite will adapt. The uh, kissing bug will adapt. Chagas disease needs attention here in the United States. We really do not understand the breadth of how many people are infected. It is here. It's in many states. There we go. Right here in our doorstep. Perfect. They know me as a kissing bug doctor around here. I work here at the University of Florida in the College of Medicine. I'm an assistant professor. Chagas disease is a, a neglected tropical disease caused by the parasite, Trypanosoma cruzi. The Chagas work here in Florida started four years ago, knowing two things. One, that we have Latin American immigrants living in the state with Chagas disease, as well as knowing that the, the insect is here. All right, Dr. Parker, so we've been able to um, isolate a patient here who may be at risk for Chagas disease. Um, she is from Zacatecas, Mexico. I'm so sorry you're having this infection here in your arm. But I also want to talk to you about Chagas disease and these bugs, the chinches. Say. Yes, I and recognize those. You recognize those. Yeah. Okay. Did you know that these bugs could cause an infection? Mm, no. No. Just on to now, we, we know. Okay. Well, one important thing about this type of infection is it can infect the heart. Chagas disease affects the cardiovascular system, so your heart goes into fibrillation. Okay. If we're unable to get you out of that fibrillation event, you will you'll pass away. Miss Marina, Chagas es una enfermedad endémica en Latinoamérica. Estábamos viendo casos que eran que se habían contraído en nuestros países nativos y que habían inmigrado los pacientes aquí y bueno no se les había detectado de niños. Tenemos otros pacientes que son eh, nuevos y porque se ha visto que el, el insecto también con el parásito se ha encontrado acá en la Florida. Yeah, right in this area, you know, it's really you're close to nature and folks like to just live right here in the swamp and close to these bugs, especially during the summer months. They're coming out and uh, invading into their home and biting them. been able to isolate bugs in 22 counties in Florida. And nearly one third of all the counties in Florida we have found a kissing bug in over the last two years. Certain wildlife are reservoirs for Trypanosoma cruzi. We started to trap animals here locally. We found upwards of 50% of Florida opossums in our studies um, had T. cruzi as well as raccoons. Uh, we've just recently isolated the first canine Chagas disease acquired here in Florida. And it's really important that we show that this parasite is being transmitted to hosts that are susceptible. Okay. We got this, we do, yes. You know, we have found that upwards of 30% of our bugs here in Florida are infected with Trypanosoma cruzi. And uh, these insects are found throughout the United States. Me llamo Rodrigo Alcalá. Nací en Barcelona, en el país Venezuela, y crecí allá por toda mi vida hasta los 14 años y después nos vinimos para Estados Unidos. Siempre tuve un interés, una inclinación a estudiar enfermedades infecciosas tropicales que por muchos años han estado en mi vida, ya sea porque 
las contraje yo o tengo familiares, amigos, vecinos, conocidos que han padecido de ella. Tengo un tío que era muy cercano a mí yo creciendo, eh, su nombre es Jacinto, quien falleció uh, de, de la enfermedad de Chagas. Para nosotros fue una gran sorpresa de, de que haya fallecido de, de una enfermedad cardíaca. Empezamos a hacer estas ferias que estamos haciendo y empezamos a hacer los exámenes del Chagas para las personas. Y eso para mí ha sido pues, muy gratificante porque es como, es como poder hacer el trabajo que hubiera salvado a mi tío. Dr. Beatty's program here in Florida is providing an example of what others can do across the country uh, to help confront the disease because he's looking at not only the, the transmission cycle here locally, but he's finding ways to make treatment and testing more available to the people who really need it. I truly love giving back to my community. Here in Florida, we need to understand almost every aspect of this disease. And we need to take a One Health approach to understanding Chagas in this country, as well as other regions of the world. Hey, Ray, thanks for taking us out, all right? I mean, you know, what I study are these bugs called kissing bugs. Thank you.